Jamik Sinner has withdrawn from the Rolex Paris Masters citing fatigue after finishing his opening round match at 2.37 a.m. local time in the early hours of Thursday. The number four seed was due to return in the last match of Thursday's day session to take on Alex de Menor, but has been forced to pull out following minimal recovery time. A number of Sinner's rivals have already slammed the ATP for the scheduling in Paris. I am sorry to announce that I am withdrawing from today's match in Bercy, the world number four wrote after the tournament confirmed he had pulled out. I finished the match when it was almost three in the morning and didn't go to bed until a few hours later. I had less than 12 hours to rest and prepare for the next game. I have to make the right decision for my health and my body. The weeks ahead with the ATP finals at home and the Davis Cup will be very important. Now I focus on preparing for these important events. See you in Turin. Sinner's opening match at the Paris Masters caused a storm when he took to the court after midnight local time and defeated Mackenzie McDonald 6-7-6, 7-5-6-1 with the match finishing shortly before 3 a.m. The Italian was scheduled as the second of two matches in Wednesday's night session. Under the Paris Masters schedule, the night session begins at 7.30 p.m. local time. But the four-match day session only finished at 9.56 p.m. on Wednesday, meaning the night session didn't get underway for another 30 minutes with Holger Rune and Dominic Team first up. Defending champion Roon got the job done in 91 minutes before Sinner and McDonald took to the court, contesting a 2-hour and 16-minute battle. Thursday's schedule had already been released hours before the pair played their match, with the winner set to return in the last of the four-day session matches, expected to be at around 5 p.m. local time. With the third-day session match already underway, Sinner officially withdrew from the tournament citing fatigue. It means that Alex de Menor receives a walkover to the quarterfinal to face Andre Rublev. Even before the 22-year-old pulled out, the scheduling caused an uproar, with Sinner's colleagues and his own coach slamming the ATP for the way the matches had been arranged. Two forty-five a.m. Happy for the at Janics in win, but zero care for the players' welfare with the Paris schedule, coach Darren Cahill wrote on Instagram alongside a photo of himself and the Sinner camp, also tagging the ATP tour. World number no. 8 Casper Rude took to X, formerly known as Twitter, on Thursday morning to hit out after seeing that Sinner was set to compete in the day session. The three-time major finalist wrote, Bravo at Attor. Way to help one of the best players in the world recover and be as ready as possible when he finished his previous match at 2.37 a.m. this morning. 14, five hours to recover. What a joke. Even more players and coaches chimed in as three-time Grand Slam champion Stan Wawrinka and current Coco Gauff mentor Brad Gilbert responded. It's crazy, Vavrinka wrote. Tournament doesn't care and ATP just follow what the tournament will want. Always the same story. And Gilbert responded, claiming that organizers should have put Sinner's match on court one instead of waiting for Rune to finish on court central, with the second show court left empty from around 7 p.m. local time. Crazy why at 10 p.m. they had plenty of time to switch Sin City, Sinner, to court one was open, when there was a match still on center and another one to follow, before JS versus McDonald would get on center, horrendous decision to not have switched courts plain and simple, the American tennis coach wrote.